hey guys welcome back to my channel today we'll just be doing a glam glam for just going out first step is taking off my glasses lol my face <laughs> and i'll just be using the neutrogena shine control primer rice protein complex i don't know why they say the end i put this on my nose because that's the oiliest area and i like to you know just make sure it just stays matte and it's not getting so oily i then take the shot Masse aoa studio high def brush the f1 and i this is like my favorite brush for everything oof <laughs> lol oop and i just usually just use this to blend this um out and you can see me blending out the primer it's too much work to blend out with my finger, of course. Okay, see us. Nice cheeks. <laughs> that that sounds wrong. Never mind. I'm gonna be taking the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Um, I love this primer to just apply to the areas that I'm just gonna be applying makeup. I apply this to my under eye area, my um, which we'll call it, my forehead and the bottom of my chin. <laughs> wrong direction. Well. You know what I mean, guys. I love that this primer just blurs the skin, especially in my under eye area. It looks really nice, like, once all the whole makeup comes together. And then you see me taking a beauty sponge and just really tapping that in so everything is absorbed. Okay, sis, we get it. And then I'm taking the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder in the shade Medium Deep. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned. I'm so sorry for seeing that every time, guys. But I'm real, so that's all you know. And I really love to apply this powder in my under eye area. So it just gives me a brightened look. And I don't really apply concealer. I don't know why. I don't know. It's just better for me. I like to apply it there because, you know, that's one of my areas I make it oily. Just to give me that bright and natural, flawless look under there. And of course, when I apply it on my, well, this right side of course it doesn't match up so you just see me struggling just make it even you know give it the same you know amount on the right side so yeah and i just give up time for eyebrows And now you take use me well see me using a spoolie just to brush them. I didn't have my I had I didn't couldn't find my brow gel and I didn't feel like doing my eyebrows. So you just see me trying to just you know put them together. It's like I couldn't get them even. Like one of them is just looking better than the other. And this one over here is just like not it. And then you see me taking the elf liner and just the, in like the color brown and just lining my eyelids. I really love using this liner when I'm going out because it just really defines my eyelids and gives them like a nice shape. And then of course I did a stupid wing at the end that didn't look ugly. So you kind of see that, but I don't usually do this. So mind that. Sorry. And then you see me taking the Mega Protein Mascara from Wet n Wild. I really love this mascara. It really brings out the length in my lashes. You know, it volumizes. It coats them nicely. I didn't do too much because it's hard to take it off. And I don't feel like dealing with that. So I just did like a little touch touch. But usually I would like go out, take my time and really try to bring out every lash. Then I'm taking this brush I got from eBay and just swiping the under eye powder after I let it sit for a little while. And you see I like to swipe it so it kind of like creates shapes, that liner, you know. And just gives me that brightened look, which I really love. Yas. Now I'm taking the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. I really love this concealer. It's in the shade Mocha. To me, it has like this golden undertone, which is really why I bought it. But it's actually a warm, so maybe like warm golden undertone. And of course, I can't focus, so mind that. I'm just putting it on my forehead, the center of my forehead, and the bottom of my chin. Those are the areas I usually place it because that's where you basically want to highlight. And I really like to conceal my... And around my mouth, I just have darkness, which is really annoying. So I, I also have to put it there for that reason. Now I'm taking my AOA Studio F1 brush once again to blend this out. 
because it's too much work to blend this out with a concealer. I'm not gonna lie, I was really feeling myself because I just started look, looking blurred. That's how you know the primer is working and this concealer works. Of course I zoomed in, sorry. And now I'm taking the ColourPop Filter Setting Powder again and just setting those areas that I place concealer, which is my forehead, the center of my forehead, and the chin. I don't really let that sit. I just immediately swipe it with my the same brush, guys. I really love this brush for everything. It just makes life easier. <laughs> yeah, I see. See, I'm looking cute. And now I'm taking this H&M eyeshadow, which is well, it's supposed to be eyeshadow, but I love using it for blush. And I'm taking this AOA Studio High Def brush, F2 brush. It's like a slanted brush, and I love using it for blush. Slanted brush, I love using for blush. You know what I mean, guys. It's like a tongue twister. And some, this time, I don't know why, but I just really OD'd on blush. I I don't know why. Every time I'm filming a video, it's like I just love overgoing with blush. But usually, I would never go like this. For when I go like to go out, I like to make it natural but flawless. So... You know, we won't be having this problem again. And I'm taking this Pro Fusion brush. It was originally like a, in a contour highlight palette, but I found better purposes for it. And it's, it's like blend out the blush. So, yeah. And then I'm taking this Shot Miss A Lumi blush in the shade Ravish. I think I should go with like a deeper color next time, but I, I have this blush so I can just act, it acts as a highlight, but it also gives me that glow and that, you know, rosy cheeks. So, yeah. <laughs> I keep looking back because I think my mom is watching me, but she's just sleeping, so please mind that. And then you see me trying to blend out the blush. You know, because I once again OD'd. And then, and then I take, take this, a setting powder and just use that to, you know, tone it down. Which really helps. Okay, Rachel, it's good. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. Intense Ink Liner eyeliner and I just use that to emphasize my mole because it's covered up Tut. I don't know why I just love like bringing out my mole it's really cute and then I'm taking the Maybelline sorry I thought I was gonna burp setting spray to set my makeup Yep, excuse me, sorry. Of course, I'm spooling again because my eyebrows are still uneven. But they're going to be sisters, not twins. Spraying my face. It's like you can hear the spray, which is really, it's just crazy, but oh well. And then I can spray it on my beauty sponge so I can just emphasize that um you know just really emphasize the matte so it could just stay matte and just blend everything seamlessly now i'm taking my lip gloss lip gloss from this macaque you can't even see that at all but i will link it in the description don't worry it's just this clear gloss and i really love applying it on my lips it just gives me that shine that my other lip gloss doesn't and it also moisturizes it so it's like better but it doesn't matter i still love like using lip gloss 
And then, of course, we forgot to set my smile lines, which is something I always do. I just got a little messed up. And you see me placing the, um, the powder, you know, just to set it. So, you know, it won't crease as faster or well, faster than it, than it would without me placing it. And then you see me spraying it again. So I can just set it and lock it in. And of course, I'm going over because I'm like a blend addict. I love it. And then I open my head sign, my hair that I've had in forever. Feeling myself. Bye, guys. Please subscribe.